A German folk tale of the Pied Piper speaks of a man hired by the town to lure rats away. This man, dressed in multicolored coat, plays his flute and draws the rats in with magic. The Piper is a hero of the people until they decide not to pay. A year later, he returns to the German town and uses his music to lure away the children instead. R. Kelly marries Aaliyah at the age of 15, and we sing along to age ain't nothing but a number. We find out that Aaliyah met R. Kelly at the age of 12, and somehow our opinions of him stay on the upbeat. The children's choir learns the lyrics to I Believe I Can Fly and a flute plays somewhere in R. Kelly's home. R. Kelly, R. Kelly calls himself the Pied Piper of R&B, and we make the excuse before we make the connection. After the first allegation, we thought, it takes at least two notes to strike a chord. After the second allegation, we gave him three Grammys. After the third and fourth allegations, we ignored them simply because we just really liked the songs. And all we can think about is the next family reunion. And who better to sing for our electric slide? And how else will we step in the name of love? See, a rap sheet these days isn't worth the price of the playlist at the cookout. In the German folktale, the piper lures the children away while all the adults are distracted in church, most likely singing. R. Kelly tells us he is devoting his life to the Lord and an angel drowns out the video footage. R. Kelly, R. Kelly hands us a hit, we give him back forgiveness. He hands us a 19 minute song and the melody makes us forget the definition of a predator, makes us forget all the little girls of color that he wrote those songs for in the first place. And again, no one speaks up when black girls are abused like the better the song, the more invisible black girls become. But this time, we know exactly where the cult is in the city of Atlanta, and still the town prefers the Piper's music, almost as if entertainment is more important than the allegations, almost as if all their voices together isn't the right type of choir. And again, rape and misogyny is just another part of the culture, tightly woven into harmony. And again, we learn that music is the best distraction and the worst black magic. We have taught our girls that they are everything short of a symphony. Tell me, is the music really that special when one man's voice can sing over them all, when we can hold a note but can't hold a man accountable, when the piper is realer than any folk tale we know and we surrender their bodies to pay the price? <laughs> 